Oh look, sticky bomb. How do I use a sticky bomb? Get my sticky bomb out. Oh, someone just landed. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that. Content. Hey everybody, Ben here, and welcome to our preview of the brand new PUBG map, Karakin. We've got all the details for the test server and live releases for console and PC, and a ton of footage to show you of this awesome new map. So Karakin just went onto the test servers on PUBG on PC, and I've been trying it out today so I can give you my thoughts on it and tell you what it's all about. This map is a brand new 2x2 island, which is even smaller than Sanok, and it's 64 players maximum. It's going to bring a much more fast-paced gameplay, similar to Sanok style, but in a sort of Miramar desert location. As well as the new location and unique map size, it's also bringing some brand new game mechanics with it. In this update, we get sticky bombs added as a unique item only on this map. And what these allow you to do, you can place them onto certain surfaces and they will breach them and destroy them. Not every wall can be destroyed with them in the game, but certain points can have them placed on either on walls or floors and you can breach through them with a sticky bomb and then go through. They also deal damage to enemy players and they work on a timer. They're not prox bombs, they're not C4, you throw them, you wait a few seconds, they make a funny little noise and then they blow up. As well as the sticky bombs, there is also destructible terrain you can shoot through. There are now certain walls in the game that you can fire a gun through and it'll make a hole in that wall and also your bullets will travel through and hurt enemies on the other side. These walls can also be completely destroyed by using sticky bombs. Another new mechanic coming with this update is the black zone. The black zone is only on this map once again and it's similar to the red zone but what it does is it fires these huge rockets that you can see come down from the sky and they can actually destroy buildings when they hit them. The black zone can only appear around areas where there are buildings and it isn't guaranteed to destroy every building underneath the circle but the ones it hits will be destroyed. Once buildings are destroyed they'll then be marked on the map as you can see here with the small crosses and hopefully this will create some nice dynamic gameplay and help with digging out of campers and create some unique terrain for later on in the game. There has also been an RPG shown in certain promotions for it but they've said that this is not coming immediately with the update but it will come to this map at a later date so expect some RPG action later on. Now, somewhat controversially, this map is going to replace Vikendi in map rotation. So Vikendi has now been dropped from the map rotation. It is still available on custom games, but you will not be able to play Vikendi in normal gameplay for the time being. On PUBG PC for the EU servers, you'll have normal map selection as before. On NA, you'll have a featured map system similar to how console had previously with Karakin as a featured map and the other three maps, Sanok, Miramar and Erangel, available as other. Console will get the same featured map system as PC NA once it goes live, but it is going to have full map rotation during PTS to allow testing of the glider on Erangel and Miramar. Karakin will, however, have a much higher chance of appearing. Karakin will hit the PTS for console at 6pm PST on the 16th of Jan, which is tonight, and 3 a.m. Central European time on the morning of Friday the 17th. On console, the game modes on the PTS are gonna be restricted to TPP, solos, and on the NA servers. The update is scheduled to go live for console on the morning of Thursday the 30th of January. For the PC version of the game, this update is gonna go live on the 22nd of Jan. Once the update goes live on console, we will be getting the featured map functionality back with Karakin as the featured map and Erangel, Miramar and Sanok available under other maps. As well as the Karakin specific stuff and gliders, console will also see the Erangel and Miramar AR spawn increase that PC had recently, as well as the addition of a new dynamic resolution feature, the new season pass and several other minor tweaks and features. Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're enjoying today's video and are as excited about all this new PUBG content as I am. I just wanted to let you know about a couple of things we have going on that you might be interested in since you're watching this PUBG video. As you're probably aware, we stream on our Twitch channel every Monday, Tuesday, 
Thursday and Friday. So if you want to come over and watch us play PUBG live and chat with us and our community, then jump over to twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. As well as that, we've also started a new YouTube channel where we publish our full Twitch stream videos over on The Beard Guys Live. So if you can't watch on Twitch or don't like to watch Twitch videos on the Twitch platform, you can now do that on YouTube by going to our new channel. You're gonna see tons of gameplay on there that you won't see on our main YouTube channel, as well as being able to watch the full replays of the games that do go edited onto the main channel. I'll put the links to both those things down in the description below. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy the rest of today's video. I played a couple of hours of this on stream, and you have to play on NA, uh, and I was playing with controller on PC, but it didn't go too badly. We got a few kills and had a really fun time looking around. The sticky bombs are super fun, and I can see, much like with ledge grabbing, that slowly brought in lots of interesting new ways of playing the game. I think the sticky bombs are really gonna do that on this map. And the same goes for the ability to shoot through walls. I'm looking forward to seeing some awesome clips of some great tactical moments. There's also some really interesting parts of the map. It can look quite plain on the surface. There is a few pockets of towns. Then there is a lot of open space in the middle without an obvious central busy drop spot like the school or boot camp on the other maps. What there is, however, are some secret underground tunnels. There's quite a few of these and you can breach into them by using the sticky bombs. Some of them you can find under the domes that are marked with the red flags and some of them are just into the side of mountains. And if you go into the these, you are able to find much better loot. Some of them are huge areas and I found an absolute ton of loot, tons of canines and other DMRs and sniper rifles, tons of meds and a lot of great stuff that I hadn't seen at all on the surface. So it feels like these underground locations are going to be real primary loot locations that people are going to hit up pretty hard. The loot balance itself hasn't been too bad. I feel like there could be a little bit more given the pace of the game they are trying to get from a two by two map. You wanna to get tooled up pretty quick. There is pretty much an abundance of guns. There's definitely not enough long range scopes. I found one 3X scope in just under two hours of streaming, and that was the only thing over a 2X that I found the whole time. So I feel like they'll probably tweak the loot table a little bit because the range scopes are definitely lacking. But in terms of other guns, we found plenty of SMGs and ARs, including a lot of UMPs, Tommy guns, Uzis, M4s, M16s, AKs, barrels, and SCARs, with higher spawn rates for those ARs and their attachments found down in the tunnel systems. What hasn't been clarified at the moment is if we're gonna see the Vikendi unique guns come to any of the other maps. At the moment, the MP5, and the G36C are not on the new map and they're not on any map. So we'll be interesting to see if they get added to one of the others. The MP5 particularly is a very, very popular gun and I personally would love to see it uh, pop up on one of the other maps, maybe like on Sandhawk, they could switch out the vector for it or something like that. So my overall first impressions from playing this for a couple of hours are very positive. I enjoyed it a lot. It's not targeted really at my core interests of PUBG. I'm more interested in big map slightly slower paced so i can sit there and i can chat to twitch chat and have a bit more relaxed time i can drink my coffee um and this kind of stuff this is a much more higher paced quick games the maximum length of the game is probably something like 15 minutes or so very quick pace very good for a warm-up and a big step away from the original Erangel gameplay that the game launched with. It's like Sanok and then some. But it does have the upside of not being full of trees and bushes, so hopefully there's a little bit less of the shot in the ass syndrome that seems to happen on Sanok so often. In the background going on, we've got some PC gameplay, and I'll just leave you to watch a little bit more so you can see a few of the areas you might not have seen so far, and I'll let you enjoy the live commentary that came along with that. So thanks very much for watching the video. Please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more. My name's Ben, we are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time. And you really get pimped out in these uh, these caves. These are so much, I mean, the loot's not bad everywhere else, but this is... Oh, we were under the purple zone. <laughs> okay, we got to get out of here, lads. How do we get out? We get out this way? We're getting black zoned. Yeah, it was quite nearby. We, we saw some nice blacks. There's so many canines down here, it's insane. Compared to, considering I've seen one 3X so far this game, which I've got, and I've seen like maybe two 2Xs.
Hey Spoon, how you doing? Yeah. It's a pretty crazy amount of DMRs and snipers compared to scopes. <laughs> and there's another bit you can get in there. Get away from my boat! Can we just be friends? We can be friends, right? You'll be cool. It's really tempting to land up the top, but <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a gun. Oh, there's, there is more than one baddie here. Need a vest. Is there a vest in here? Oh, we got a nice tag on him as well, but fortunately couldn't one-bomb him. If I land on this roof, I can go down into the building. Let's find out. I mean, there's loot. Seems positive. One dude actually came this way with me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Not a good place to land. Oh, I wish I'd shot him out of the air, but there you go. <laughs> but this is like the floor that goes into the tunnels, so we can, uh... You know, look, we can come in here, all tactical. <laughs> Stick him on my way! Go, 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 but more tactical. Oh, okay. Get get out of here. I want to see the look. We, I want to get in a building and get blown up. Quick, get in here. I'm safe. I'm safe in my little kitchen. They'll never find me. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh, I didn't blow up. Damn you, PUBG. Oh, Jesus. These ones didn't make it. <laughs> so dusty! Oh, I can't see anything apart from this floating box of DVD fragments!